Important poll. Governor Ron DeSantis and former President Trump going head to head. This poll revealing that DeSantis is losing ground to Trump after he made his formal announcement for the White House, with Trump leading 53 to 25 percent. DeSantis, incredible. Let's bring in the advisor to President Trump and former advisor to President Bill Clinton, Dick Morris, as well. He's a Newsmax host. Uh, Dick, are you surprised by this poll? Something tells me you're not. Well, I'm not, but DeSantis has completely failed to articulate a theme to his candidacy. He's landed a couple of individual shots that don't amount to much, but sometimes he says it's that Trump is too old. Sometimes he says that Trump can only serve one term. Sometimes he says Trump is moving to the left. Sometimes he says Trump is insufficiently pro-life, but there's no sustained theme to his candidacy. And all of the things that he's saying require you to believe that Trump, who overruled Roe v. Wade, is really pro-abortion, or that Trump, who presided over the greatest cut in crime in history, is really soft on crime. All stuff that you have to believe that nobody's going to believe. And DeSantis should have done his polling before he got into the race. But he has no theme. He literally has no message. What do you think is his message going to be? Is he just going to tout on his record of being a, a great governor? I mean, he's a great governor, but that doesn't mean he'll be a great president. Now, what he's doing is he's taking his act and not taking it on the road. Uh, he's talking about everything he did in Florida. It's essentially his re-election speech to Floridians. But now he's got to address the country. Look, Donald Trump has faced down Vladimir Putin, Kim Jong-un, Xi Jinping, DeSantis has faced down Mickey Mouse. You know, his main achievement is standing up to Disney and maybe some school boards thrown in. But that is hardly a qualification for being president. And he has yet to update his resume. He's yet to figure out he's not running for governor again. He's running for president and give us a reason to consider voting for him. He just hasn't done that. Is Trump the only man that can put this country back on track? Oh, I believe so. And I believe he's the one that forged the track in the first place. He's the one that discovered the track. And to get it back on track, I think he's going to be able to do that.